politician Jakoyo Midiwo is dead. The former game lawmaker is said to have suffered a cardiac arrest with his family, divulging little about the real cause of his death. President Uru Kenyatta has also mourned Midiwo as an, a great debater when he served as member of parliament. Stephen Leto has more. Washington Jakoya Midiwo is no more. The three-time game member of parliament died this evening at the age of 54 with the actual cause of his death still unknown. President Uru Kenyatta in his message of condolences said, quote, I have received the sad news of the passing away of my friend, the Honorable Jakoya Midiwo, with shock and disbelief. I will with him during my recent working tour of Nyanza region, during which we opened several projects in his former constituency. The head of state added that Midiwo was a forthright, brave and straightforward leader who spoke his mind at all times. He was a consummate debater on the floor of parliament where he articulated matters of national importance. ODM leader Raila Odinga termed Midiwo as an astute debater, a man of his word and honor. Jakoyo had a rare ability to walk across the aisle and got along with members from across the political divide, end quote. Midiwo served as the MP for Game constituency for four consecutive terms before he lost the seat in 2017. When he served in parliament, Jakoyo Midiwo defended his ODM party tooth and nail. Cannot. Honest. What's wrong with you? No, but you, this is not, don't be silly, man. What are you doing? We are uh, members of parliament. Uh, no, stop. Stop it! Stop it! Who are you? Honorable Jakoyo, can you address the House? You are not addressing. Speaker, a terrorist cannot call innocent people terrorists. He is now, the one who is on so record. Now, now Honorable Jakoyo, is, what, is what you are saying any different? Is no, what no, you are saying any different? At some point, Midiwo's anger on the floor of parliament forced Speaker Justin Muturi to suspend the then game lawmaker from house settings. A country that election after election steals elections, robs the citizens of their rights. And then you say a free and fair election. Free where? Yes. Yes, you are thieves. That is why the country is failing. You are thieves. There is no debate. Chief Sergeant Atams, Chief Sergeant Atams, to enforce that order. Midewa was termed as a leader who spoke his mind without fear. In April 2012, during the Easter break in the company of the then Prime Minister and his boss Raila Odinga, he hit the headlines after bluntly revealing a plot to assassinate the ODM leader in the run-up to the 2013 general elections. They come, they want to get rid of you. They are willing and ready to kill you. And they will do it in a matter of few weeks. I'm saying it because if I don't say it, nobody will. His sentiments saw him summoned for questioning at the DC High Headquarters. Midiwo's death comes few days after the death of his sister, who was said to be buried this coming Saturday. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Tributes also continue to pour in for the former game member of parliament. As see here from the deputy president, William Ruto, says Mweshimiwa Jakoyo Midiwo was a vocal and dedicated figure who spoke his mind. He was outspoken, courageous, and a tireless leader whose exceptional service to the people of game will be missed. I see also here from Raila Odinga, who's the ODM chairperson, says first elected MP in 2002, Jakoyo Midiwo served the people of game with passion for three terms, an astute debater, a man of his word and honor, Jakoyo had a rare ability to work across the aisle and got along with members from across the political divide. I will dearly miss him. That's from uh, Railo Dingo, the ODM party leader. And also Patrick Madanje, who's the director of protocol Kisumu County, says my condolences to the entire family of the Midiwas following the passing on of my fellow BBI Nyanza region coordinator. This is a big loss to Nyanza and the entire nation. He was a patriotic leader who spoke his mind as when was ever focused. Let's see if we can get a few more here. We have one from the governor of Kisumu, that's Professor Nyang Nyong, who says, I'm extremely saddened by the shocking death of my friend, former game member of parliament, Washington Jakoyo Midiwo. Unbelievable. Go in peace, Otada. All right.
right. Our condolences here. The Royal Media Services family goes out to all those who've lost their loved ones out there. We pray that you have peace as time goes by. 